Hello and welcome to another episode of Modular in a Week. This is hopefully a short video to uh, introduce and tell you about the links with the Z at the end, which is a through hole component mutable instrument links clone that I did uh, when I was bored and wanted something simple to do. Uh, people on the Discord will know that that was not the case. It was quite a uh, challenge to make this one, not because it's a difficult uh, circuit as such. It's just I made tons of mistakes when I did this and uh, yeah, I got it working finally. Uh, here it is um, in the all the other modules I'm working on, it's always good to just have one module to actually be finished with, uh, and then I can continue with the, all the other ones. So happy to say this one is finished and working just as it should. Um, there is, it is a fully through hole module, except one uh, component, which is uh, a quad op amp, which actually I couldn't find one uh, that is uh, that is the same in, in through hole. You can use another quad op amp instead, like a TL074, but there is the option that, there, so if you want to, uh, on the backs on this one, here there is actually the component soldered in place you can do that you can either buy it with this very expensive op amp actually uh, or with you can choose a cheaper one that is through hole and just use the uh, deal 8 uh, footprint on the back instead of the one in there so what is this? This is a super simple module. It's a one to three uh, multiple, and then this is a buffered multiple up here. Down here, it is a three to one summing mixer, averaging summing mixer. So it takes one third of all of these uh, inputs, uh, sums them together, which creates a whole, uh, and puts that on the output. And in the middle, there is a circuit that can either be a 1 to 2 multiple or a 2 to 1 mixer and both at the same time. So mix the two signals here, output the two signals here, uh, whichever way you want. So just a good module to have in your arsenal if you want to mix or split signals um, it's for you for hp sorry uh, it is it is a sandwiched version so two pcbs and one panel i'll just show quickly how it works uh, if you want to build one you can either as usual find all the files for this uh, on the on my github so you can just download the files order the from your PCB manufacturer and order all the components, or if you want, you, you can find a few of them in my store, my Tindy store. Uh, so that's about it. And I uh, want to say thank you to my Patreons who helped me uh, by supporting me in, on, on Patreon and get to see some of the struggles I have behind the camera with this one, with the ADSR right now. Um, and also thank you to my a discord server who helped me with this one and helps me with a lot of other stuff the, sh the debacle with the uh, zener diodes a, a while back that the beaks and the gris has um, I, I did a poor component choice which made those modules not work quite as they should which we fixed now uh, and you can just swap out two components in each of these, one zener diode and one resistor, and they are fine. Um, shouldn't have that problem here. As I said, the only, only part that isn't exactly as it should be, if you choose to do it all, uh, all through hole, 
is that quad op amp which you can however add by adding one sim simple component uh, as uh, SMD maybe to just dip your feet a little bit into SMD soldering anyway let's uh, show this off and uh, get on with it as I said earlier the Lynx is a really simple module you have one buffered multiple up here one in three out uh, in the middle you have a precision adder so either you add the two inputs together on both outputs uh, but it can also be used as a precision multiple I guess uh, with just one in connected to the two outs so and then this one is an averager or a mixer basically uh, of the it takes one third of these three voltages one third of that one third of that one third of that for a hole out here so uh, a preset mixer basically so we have a, up here we have a marbles having a gate input I should note this is the only thing I have against this module is that in its original configuration uh, these two are red when it's pl uh, positive and this one is green when it's positive uh, so I would say that for if you build this module I would turn these two diodes the uh, LEDs the wrong way around that way they all are green when you put them uh, when you put a positive signal in and negative when you put the negative signal in uh, but now we have this gate we want to connect and we connect it to this ADSR and we just have a sound through a VCF doing this but we can also add it to the second one here and now we also uh, do an envelope on the pitch of the os oscillator so so that's how you use the top one the 2-2 two -two section is a precision adder as I said so we can take the output of this one into the volt, volt per octave of the braids for example and then we take this one from the key step to the input but we also add a LFO sinus LFO uh, and if we bypass the previous filter we get this uh, so here we play a melody let's go down here somewhere and then we add this so we can play a melody and also the LFO plays So again, good for mixing to CV signals or for splitting a signal. Again, we could do the same thing as we did before with the, from the marbles to the gate, because here we actually only need two out. So we could use, use it like so. And now we use both of those and we could use the one to three for something else and finally the mixer we can take a few drum sounds here i believe they are all drum sounds here input input and we take one from another beaks over here and then this output will be all these together 
Now I only have one because nothing is connected here, but should uh, do that and do and maybe you can't hear the bass drum, but it is there. So yeah, that's that is what this module does. Uh, and if you want to build this, you can get the plans, as I said, on the GitHub or uh, get a PCB kit or a full kit in the uh, Tindy store. So yeah, take care. Bye.